Hi everyone, this is Bella Gemma Nails and today we're going to be taking this adorable gold clutch and converting it into a Lucky Vegas bag. So I wanted to create a lucky bag for my upcoming trip to Vegas and I don't know if any of you are superstitious, I'm really not, but I still wanted a lucky bag to try my hand at some gambling. and. I saw this bag and I thought it was perfect for my ensemble, number one. And number two, I wanted, you know, the Dazzlies and the Sparklies. So it was a very nice bag. I will put all the links below as per usual if you'd like to purchase any of the products. I am not sponsored, but I should be. What I did was I purchased elephants to adhere to the bag. Now. Elephants are not only majestic creatures, but they are one of the five holy animals of India. And I think that they are absolutely beautiful. White elephants are very lucky. And also in Feng Shui, they're considered lucky. So I'm going to be, you can see that they're keychains. I'm going to be taking them apart and adhering them to the front of this bag. Now, the idea for three elephants was pretty simple, if you follow numerology. I have two favorite numbers, 12 and 21. And if you take the 1 and 2 and add that from the 12, it equals 3. If you take the 2 and 1 from the 21, it equals 3. And so that's how I decided to purchase three elephants for this design, because they represent my lucky and favorite numbers. Now. What you're going to be doing is you want to make sure that the bag is stuffed and leveled, as I've explained time and time again. So, get started with taking apart the jump. It's going to be a bit challenging to adhere these keychains because they are perforated in the back. You can see they're hollow. So you're going to have to trace the parts that aren't so that you can get glue, enough glue to adhere to the bag. So I used the center ring of this elephant to align with the middle of the bag to be able to determine placement. So just kind of look at the overall bag and see where you want to place them and then just measure them and align them appropriately. This one here is domed, so it might be a little more difficult to adhere, but as long as you put the glue and you press it on here and place something heavy like a book, you won't have a problem with it sticking. Place a heavy book. Make sure they don't shift. And let dry. So here is the finished product, and you could see how beautiful it turned out. You would never think that this bag was cheaper than dirt online, and it just looks so unique and so pretty and so sparkly. You can't really see how sparkly it is because of my lighting here, but it gleams in the sunlight and I really can't wait to use my Lucky Vegas purse. So as always, if you try your hand at any of the design ideas that I give you all, please make sure to tag me. I'd love to see your creations. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs up. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for joining me once again. Bye. Okay, so I wanted to put the finishing touches on this bag. I showed you what it looked like with the bow, but I hadn't completed it. I sanded the handles so that they would not be black anymore. And you could see that it gives it a different look. Now that you've taken off the tape, 
you can see how pretty the contrast looks between the gold and the wood handles. We're going to use a staple gun to staple the inside of the bow to the wooden part of the bag on the very top. So I wanted to show you all what I did in the end with this handbag. I sanded the entire handle. It was previously black and I sanded it so it can have a neutral tone and it'll combine a lot better with the gold. And it turned out beautifully. I am very happy with the end look of it. It matches much better. I'm not going to gloss it. I'm gonna just leave the natural wood exposed. And that's pretty much it. Now you know how easy it is to really make a custom bag with things that you may have in your closet. I literally ripped the lining from a dress I did not wear anymore, created a perfect little bow here and spray painted it. And that was really it. I did use a stapler or a staple gun to adhere the actual bow on the top of the wood. And I glued the bottom part of the bow to the bag, which is a tiny bit of these 6,000 and that's it, you're, you're good to go. So I hope you all liked it, bye.